Hey, I'm Luke Williams, and today I'm gonna to show you how to start a fire using the bow drill method. Now, in your backpack or EDC or whatever you carry through the woods with you, you should always have some type of fire starting material. For me, I like to keep Bic lighters because they last a long time and they're cheap to buy. If you find yourself in the woods without any of these, then this is a great method to get a fire started. Now, all you need for this is a knife and a shoestring. However, today I've got a few extra things to kind of help ease the process. I have my hatchet, I have a multi-tool, my pocket knife, and then a pair of boots with some shoestrings on them. Now, you don't need all of that. You can just do this with a knife, but if you have all these other tools, it's gonna be a lot easier. Now, before we get started, you need to find the right type of wood. A lot of people are gonna say soft hard woods. A lot of people will say hard soft woods. However, what I like to use is a soft wood, and it is this right here. It's the beautiful cedar. You find these all over my area, so it's easy to find, and they've always worked very well for me. But you need to go ahead and do some research in your area, see what's around, and see what's readily available should you ever have to do this in an emergency situation. For now, I'm gonna go out and try to find me a down cedar, get it cut up and ready to use, and make some fire. All right, this is the tree I think I'm gonna use. It's been down a little while. Looks like uh, it's gonna be nice and dry. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut me a long sliver, about an inch thick. This will be for my fireboard, and I'm gonna want it to be about eight or 10 inches long and around six inches wide. You wanna make sure it's straight and relatively smooth. All right, so as you can tell, cutting out the fireboard is no easy task. And if all you have is a knife, then you probably wanna find a smaller piece that you can whittle out instead of chunking out a tree like I did with the hatchet. But now that we have this done, we're gonna go find our drill. For that, all we need is a stick about eight inches long and a half inch to an inch thick. And for this, we wanna make sure it's totally straight. It doesn't have any kinks in it at all. Otherwise, your drill's not gonna turn straight. So let's go over and find one. I know that right across the little trail right here, I saw another little down cedar tree. So we're gonna go cut it up and bring it on over and get it smoothed and whittled down. And then after we get it whittled down and smooth around the edges, we're gonna go ahead and sharpen out one side of it. On the other side, we're gonna round the end of it. The next thing we're gonna to need to find is a bow, and any type of wood will work for this. Simply tie your line around the two sides, making a bow. All right, now that we've got our fireboard, our drill, and our bow, and I'm soaking wet and sweat, we've only got one more thing to get, and that's our handhold. For this, there's a number of things you can use depending on what area you're in. You can use a hickory nut, you could use a shell, or a rock. All right, now that we have all our components, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our knife and we're gonna go ahead and create a divot in our fireboard and that needs to be about an inch from the outside. Once we have that divot right there, we're gonna go ahead and take our bow and our drill, put your drill against it with the round end on this side and we're gonna go ahead and start drilling this down. We don't wanna go too far, we just wanna go ahead and get it seated. All right, now that we got the bow seated in the fireboard, we're gonna go ahead and use the saw on our multi-tool and cut out a little area for the ashes to fall down underneath the fireboard. All right, now that we've got everything ready to make fire, we're gonna go out and find some bark. We're gonna put that piece of bark underneath our fireboard to catch our ashes, which will turn into coal. And then we're gonna get some tinder, go ahead and ball that up and get that ready to dump all the coal on from the bark. All right, well, my handhold I had was not working very well. I thought I had enough of a divot for the, uh, for the drill to stay on it, but it didn't. So went out and found some more. This one right here, I feel like is gonna be the one. It's got a nice clean divot inside of it. I think this is gonna get us going. We're gonna get rid of this one. Bye, Rock. All right guys, like I said, this is a great and efficient fire starting method. However, it's not gonna be easy, as you can tell by all the sweat. I mean, it is 130 degrees today in Tennessee, but it's not that bad to make and go ahead and get your fire going with this. Know there's a lot of tips and tricks. Ask your buddies, your friends, do some research. The one thing I will tell you is make sure you keep your bow line low in your drill when you're drilling. That's gonna make sure that your drill stays inside of your handhold a lot easier. Guys, I wanna know what other tips you have. Let me know in the comments below and then make sure you head to Raider Red's YouTube channel and hit subscribe. From the farm, I'm Luke Williams. We're gonna put this fire out because it's hot as hell today in Tennessee, y'all.